guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is deborah amichi and on this channel i touch topics around adulting thank you for stopping by today if you're new thank you for coming please hit the subscribe button if you are not thank you for coming back it means a lot to me that you always come back yeah so please hit the subscribe button before we get into the video proper so 2020 has been a very a not so so it has been a not so straight year i've seen jokes but like 2020 has been like 10 years in one like the pandemic actually happened in 2020 like kobe um kobe actually died in 2020 like different things happen it feels like we've been in this year for so long and i'm sure i'm not the only one who can't wait to be out of the year why we are like really excited about living the year let's just take our time to be grateful that we are alive and people around us are alive and we're healthy and that's like that's a big deal yes so i prepare to live this year basically yeah yeah a few things yeah a few things i think you should do before you finally beat 2021 goodbye whether the vision came true or not or whether like 2020 took another another uh, what's it called another thought like far away from your vision before you leave this year these are what i think you should do the first thing i want you to do or i think you should do is to rejuvenate like take our time to actually think about the year take our time even if it's one day even if it's just one morning make sure you are you zone out zone out of everything zone out of work zone out of people and just think about the year think of all of your wins your struggles think of all the all the supposed failure there's no failure there's nothing like failure in life but think of all the down times think of all of these things and see where you maybe did not do the right thing so that in 2021 it's going to be better and so that that downtime is going to serve us i was going to serve as lessons and not just one of those things do you get so after rejuvenating or while you are rejuvenating the next thing i really hope that you do before you leave this year is to get yourself a journal why am i asking you to get yourself a journal see a journal is any book or you can even use your phone it's anything at all that you write down your goals your your ambitions your fears your prayers everything so just get yourself a journal so that you can write down your goals why am i like literally asking you to even get yourself a journal journals help you like when you when you write out your thoughts you're able to think clearer your the thoughts become clearer do you understand so in 2021 you don't just want to go heads up into things you want to be able to think things through you want you don't want to repeat mistakes of the past years so get yourself a journal this year write down your goals write down your goals mm? Even Abba could say you should write down your goals because the vision is for an appointed time. So write it down. Get yourself a journal. And lastly, this one is something I really want you to do. Like, it's been a very hard year. If we're going to be honest, it's been a very hard year. But you are here. Like, you are still kicking it. You are still, you're still slaying your work. You're still slaying at your job. So get yourself something. Take yourself out. Like, make sure you do something special for yourself. Yes, because I think it's going to help you feel good and it's going to be it's a good way to end this year, literally. So, thank you so much for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, tell other people about my channel. Make sure you actually do subscribe. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button because when you do so, you help the algorithm of my videos and you help me too. I love you so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye video of how to stay consistent video of how to stay consistent